So the second country on our list that we visited was Vietnam, and probably from my perspective, the most anticipated country we visited. Um, we had a great flight over. There was no problems like we had with the first one. There was no delays. It was pretty much straight onto the flight, straight over, really, really calm and quiet. The only issues we did have is that when we arrived, we did have a bit of a problem with um, a scammer. Um, so just to paint the story, we got a bit of money out at the airport. Uh, we went and paid for the SIM. We then headed down to get a taxi. And what we should have really done is just books of grab. That's sort of what we've been sort of ingrained to do every time we arrive in a country, even though, yeah, some grabs may be a little bit more expensive, but on the most part, they are cheaper. However, we got suckered into by, uh, well, taking a cab. And um, when we were in the cab, we let somebody else handle our money, which is something we'd really never, ever do. Um, this is just, you know, a stupid thing on our part. And now looking back at it, I guess you can just sort of laugh it off and just be like, okay, well, it was a really silly mistake. And if we saw anybody else doing it, we'd, we'd equally think that was just a stupid thing to do. Um, and then when we got the money back, it was $200,000 less. Um, so I think all in all, we lost about seven pounds each. Um, and of course, that's not a lot, but it's just the principle of it. We have this little footage of the taxi here, and this uh, was the uh, guy in the front who handled the money. And, you know, all we can do now is really just look past it. So we didn't want to let it affect our time in Vietnam. So we quickly just uh, put this to bed, forgot about it, and just looked forward to hopefully a great time in Vietnam. So very, 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 very exciting moment. We're trying egg coffee for the first time. Uh, hopefully this will be as good as I thought it was. But uh, just gonna do the whole thing. Ah, that grip. That grip. Looks so good on oh, every single YouTube video I've watched. And it does not disappoint in person at all. So just mix it in because I feel that's kind of the right thing to do. I could be doing it wrong. I'll try some of it. Oh. How's, that? How's that? That's good. <coughs> that's as good as I expected it to be. Yeah. Once you pass that, that's pretty. Good. That's pretty damn good. Oh, it's so thick. That is good. Right. It's creamy. Um, it's like thick. It's lovely. It's got like sprinkled chocolate on the top as well. The hot bit is down here. I haven't quite gone to that bit yet. But, like, it does look pretty it's, like, thick. Creamy, but lovely. I suppose it's going to be thick because of the egg. Yeah. It's so, just yeah. sweet and lovely and delicious. Mm. It's everything I hoped it would be. So now I'm going to let Aaron have his turn. I'll let Aaron have his turn. There you go. 
good try for us. Thick. <laughs> Very thick. I think it's better when it's mixed. But then again, I didn't try it without, but... Oh, that's just, oh, lovely. just the drip as well. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's more lovely than you can ever imagine, I tell you. What do we think? About 10? That is like... It's like a sweet egg. Um, this is a sweet, sweet egg, egg coffee. Yeah. yeah. Exactly what it says on the tin. It's absolutely delicious. I think you could get through you know, most of it just with a spoon. You don't actually taste the egg. It's just like, just, I think it just thickens it up. It's like if you put like eggs in a cake or something and make it. Yeah, it's like it's 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 like, it's like, it's like, it's like, it does kind of look like a, a, a cake mixture. A bit. It is really thick. Look at that. Yeah, it's really thick. Yeah, it's really thick. Yeah, it's really thick. So you like it? Good. So uh, I'd probably give it. I give it a nine. Oh, nine. Oh, we've, and we've still got uh, egg hot chocolate to come because um, I've heard that that's a thing. Egg hot chocolate as well. Uh, I'll give this a two. <laughs> and they also do um, salt coffee apparently, so that's also uh, I think we well, have to try. Yeah, oh. I'll give it a nine. Sweet. Oh, so it's good. You heard it from here. You heard it from us. Uh, nine from Aaron. I'd probably also give it a nine. I think this is absolutely fantastic. It's everything I wanted it to be. It hasn't disappointed. I'm just going to try it again. Perfect. Nom nom. Yeah. So upon checking in in Vietnam, we stayed in a few hotels, a few hostels. The first big hotel we stayed in was the Night Hotel, which was around £17 per night. Um, we did feel a little bit catfish with this, which we can look back and laugh on now, which is a lot of the things with the uh, Vietnam happenings. Um, we uh, checked the pool out on the first day there, um, and it was very green and very murky, and not what we were sold. No, we didn't go in. Um, we just understood it to be very, very underkept. However, um, you know, we enjoyed the stay here. It was a, a clean hotel nonetheless, apart from the pool. Mm. Everybody was very friendly. They were very kind to check us in. The beds were soft, the beds were comfortable. It's probably the best night's sleep we had in a long time. The bathroom was great. It had all the amenities. It's soap, shower gel, shampoo, which is not always what you get. And nonetheless, we had a good stay here. And for the night, it was a place to rest our heads. Hey guys, so we're just walking around a new part of Hanoi which we decided to move to. We were in the old quarter before, we're in a slightly new uh, built up area. Uh, there's Aaron, and we Matt haven't just, lost Matt him. just tripped up uh, over uh, a stick. Yeah, so. this is the things you don't see about travelling. These are the hard times when you trip over sticks. Um, but we're in a new part, we'll pin the location somewhere up here. Um, and yeah, no, it's really nice. It's uh, nice to just be out of the... I think the old court was quite busy. Um, not that this is any less busy, you'll see by the, the, the B-roll that we have. Like, there's a lot of traffic. But um, it's definitely nicer, it's a bit more built up. Um, uh, so we just came and just wanted to explore and walk around and see like a different part. Just to uh, give us a bit of a different view of Hanoi and not just go to the part that uh, everybody goes to. Um, so this is nice. I also need to get some jeans because apparently I don't have any and it's getting cold. Um, I never thought I'd be saying that in Vietnam, but there you go. Yeah, um, it's uh, about 17 degrees at the moment, uh, so a little bit chilly, but... And it's got a bit of wind chill as well. Yeah, so I'm wearing... I'm just wearing, like, if you want to show, like... Just wearing... Oh, do, do a fashion shoot, yeah. Aaron, give oh, us a yeah. wiggle. Just wearing jeans and a long sleeve shirt at the moment. Yeah, it's a little bit chilly, but... Yeah. It's, but yeah, uh, no, it's, it's been nice to just walk around. Uh, so, all we'll do, we'll... Uh, See if I can get a hold of a pair of jeans. That's on today's agenda. Um, we're going to do some other bits. We're going to try and get over to the um, the opera house and the prison. Very, very convenient. That was an ambulance, not a police vehicle. Uh, that would have been very convenient and well-timed. Um, and yeah, we'll just uh, show you a bit of that later. 
and we will catch you then. Bye. 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 Oh. oh, you are so cute. <laughs> Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, so I am just off to see the Temple of Literature. Uh, Aaron is otherwise uh, occupied at the moment, going to uh, get something fixed. So I thought I'd make use of the time to uh, go and see the Temple of Literature. Um, so we'll get some footage of that. Just stopped for uh, Vietnamese Mackies, which is actually pretty good. Um, I'd say it's probably a lot better than the stuff at home. And then again, might be a bias towards the flavour maybe because I've been in Asia for like well over a month and the flavours are generally sweeter um, than they are at home uh, so a little bit biased but it was pretty good um, I'll just show a little bit of what I had um, at the top and include the prices for anybody who wants to know I know some people want to know those things so I'm just going to try and uh, make my way to the temple without getting knocked over which is easier said than done in uh, Hanoi because everybody's very um, well it comes across impatient but I don't generally think that's the way um, I think everybody's just letting everybody else know where they are and through that um, a lot of the well a lot of me and well our westerners generally think this um, impatience and I don't generally think it is they're just sort of letting everybody know where they are um, the road rules are a bit hard and fast here with uh, with like cyclists and uh, people on bikes and cars and uh, buses um, everything tends to just go when it wants to go um, as with the uh, people crossing the road it's pretty much the same thing um, so I will get to the temple and show you a little bit of footage of that and I'll also include the price and entrance fee and everything else for you okay bye Hey guys, so that was the uh, Temple of Literature. Uh, I didn't speak most of the way through it. Um, I thought I'd just narrate over it because it's probably a little bit easier and it's probably a little bit better for the people that are in there. You don't want to like annoy anybody while they're trying to take everything in. Um, I thought it was good. It was okay, but like on like a bigger scale, probably a little bit underwhelming. Um, definitely in comparison to some of the other temples we've seen. Um, so like 
didn't enjoy it that much but it was still nice to sort of see the gardens and the um, sort of the little sculptures and statues and things that was pretty nice um, I chose not to get the audio tour um, just because I wanted to take in like the sight of it more than uh, more than to sort of find out about stuff that's probably not what everybody does um, I don't always choose to do that but I just thought it would be uh, nice just to get a little bit of sort of quiet because I've always got stuff going in my ears um, like music and stuff so I thought I'd just have a, a quiet morning especially with all the honking and stuff that's going on constantly in Hanoi so um, I'm just going to go uh, grab a coffee and then I will see you there and uh, just to let you guys all know, um, if you stay in the old court when you come to Hanoi, everything's generally within walking distance. So it's kind of a good area to stay if you're coming to Hanoi. Um, we have on two separate occasions. Um, the other time we stayed in a slightly different location, um, which is the one we're in now, um, which is slightly further down. But everything is generally walking distance um, to all of the attractions and the sites. Uh, so that's pretty good. Um, it tends to be a thing that with um, the Vietnamese, they tend to give you really, really short rides everywhere if you're going on a tour, um, which is the general feel I've got from other people who have been here and um, that we've met on the trip. Um, so yeah, it kind of um, everything's really within walking distance. So if you are happy to walk, then you can definitely do that. Um, it tends to be a thing that not a lot of people walk here um, apart from obviously the people that don't have bikes and the tourists so yeah that tends to be a thing so yeah hey guys we're back this time we're with Aaron hello um, we are just about to head to the prison the Hanoi prison yeah. uh, just see what that's all about because it's been recommended to us a couple of times so we'll see how it is um, we've stayed right near it as well because we're going on a boat trip tomorrow. Yeah. Stay tuned for that, um, which should be really, really good. You probably all know where because we've said about it, but can we tell them? Oh, leave it as a surprise. The yeah. suspense. The suspense. But yeah, we're going to head over there. Yeah. And hopefully that'll be really, really good. Yeah. So we'll should be a good that. insight. So uh, yeah, catch you later. Um, Hi guys, so we're just outside the. Uh, how do you say? Uh, Hoya uh, Low Prison. That's the one. Or something, I don't know how you say Always it. trust us to remember the name yeah, and stuff. The but, Hanoi Prison. Yeah, but we've got a ticket. Um, two tickets, even though I've shoved mine in my pocket. Yeah. I've got one. And so the price for admission was 30,000 dong, which I don't know how much that it is, is, but. Hold for applause. Hold for applause. We'll put it on the screen anyway. How We're going to put it on the screen, but I'm going to get it up now in real time. That much. Yeah. Which is one pound and 0.57 of a penny. Yeah. Um, in euros, well, for those one dollar, wondering. One dollar 26. Yeah, one dollar 26 and one euro 19. Yeah. So, time yeah, we're just outside the ticket bit and yeah. it's just the entrance just there. So we're going to go in there and try see what it's all about. Yeah, so bye. As you can see in the pictures, Hoi Lao Prison was one of the biggest in Indochina during its operation. The two main stories told within this prison are one of the French colonization of Vietnam and the war with America. And both of these stories are told in great detail about the people that were captured here, about the people that were imprisoned here, and of course their escape and their treatment throughout the time. Of course, a lot of the stories are told from a perspective of uh, the Vietnamese, and a lot of stories are told from the perspective of other people. So it's important that if you do go and visit Hanoi, that you visit this site just to get a perspective of the full story, and obviously do your own research with that. As we're not here to give that perspective of the story, we'd prefer that people do that and of course take in their own research. We just wanted to show you some other things that we saw in the prison and of course we're happy to do that. And last but not least, when you come to Hanoi you must visit Train Street. The best time to come is when a train is passing. Unfortunately we just couldn't time this right when we were there. 
there are boards which show when the trains are coming but this isn't always the best thing to go by but if you're there it's a great place to come it's very unique and you can get some great photo opportunities we're going to leave it there guys thank you for watching and remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video